Hi everybody! Today I wanted to release a word from the Lord that I got a while back and it came back to me today in three separate occasions so I really felt the unction to share. Um, in this season there are new things that can be done with old tools. Right now God is downloading strategies for things that seemingly only had one purpose or one function and it can be used in a new way. Sometimes when you hear words like this perhaps you feel like this isn't for you or that you don't know how you can use it because you're not that creative or you're worried that you're going to miss the opportunity. Um, but this word really isn't so much about strategy as it is about relationship. So there are things hidden for you and only for you that are hidden from plain that are hidden in plain sight. For example, I started Ashes to Beauty from a dream that I had. I saw the logo as you see it now and the name in my dream. And the next morning when I woke up, I immediately started working on incorporating and copywriting and trademarking the name. And later on, I was telling a friend about it. And she asked if I had already looked into the name um, to see if it had been taken. And I said, yes, I did. And that no, the name hadn't. And she thought it was really strange. She was very surprised. And she said, you know, because she thought it was weird because that name is super common. And I didn't think that it was weird because God had given me that dream and he wouldn't give me a dream that leads to a dead end. So um, another version of this is that history tells us that when baby Jesus was born, the wise men took two years to travel to get to him, all because they saw a star. Seeing one thing and receiving one word that you know has an anointing or has a grace on it, has momentum on it, it can cause you to step into your fullness of your purpose. The wise men embraced a sign. They believed it and committed to it, and they allowed their destinies to be fulfilled through it. Matthew chapter 2 tells us that King Herod was disturbed by the wise men's quest to find baby Jesus, and he tried to gather information from them on when the star appeared and things like that because he couldn't see it. If he could have seen it, he would have followed the star himself. Matthew 2 verse 9 says that the star rose and went before them. The wise men were the only ones who could see that star because it was only meant for them to see. At the beginning of this video, I said that this word wasn't so much about strategy as it was about relationship. And here's what I mean by that. I mean that right now there are strategies for seemingly ordinary things to have a great impact when used in an unusual way. So those strategies, though, are only released to those who God trusts, to those who are in relationship with God. So when God releases a new, an, uh, a new idea to you, you should pursue it as he guides you because he's never leading you to a dead end. A year ago, I could have chosen not to look into incorporating Ashes to Beauty because it's too common of a name. And maybe by now, it would have, it would have belonged to somebody else. So what seems ordinary can become extraordinary when you know the one who created all of it. So what has God shown you and what has God given you vision for that others can't see? And how would your destiny be fulfilled if you decided to follow it? One last closing thought that I want to leave you with is for some of you, you feel like your purpose is being guarded by your enemies. Maybe you feel like your purpose was stolen and that you're unable to walk into your fullness because it's being prevented by outside circumstances. Jesus' grave was set up the same way. It was guarded with a boulder in front of it. But nothing could contain him from fulfilling his purpose. And nothing can separate you from God and from all that he has for you. Seeking and finding could be its own message in and of itself. But what I really feel like God wants me to convey right now is that relationship will lead you into a new perspective. And that perspective can shift and even totally alter your destiny. Not just on earth, but for all of eternity. Through relationship, you'll develop a new perspective through a renewed mind, and that will change the way you seek and what you seek and ultimately what you find. Guys, it's been such a blessing for me in numerous ways to begin walking in my purpose through Ashes to Beauty. Because of it, I've had the joy of meeting so many people and impacting their lives. Your obedience is always tied to somebody else's breakthrough, and if you never speak up or step out, you'll miss out on not only your own purpose being fulfilled, but the joy of connecting other people to theirs. 
I encourage you to start paying attention to your dreams, to your random thoughts, song lyrics, street signs, and anything else that just sticks out to you because this is the season for old tools being used in new ways. Press in and see what God has for you through these ordinary circumstances and discover how wide your expectations grow as you journey in your relationship with Him. I know this is a short video, but I thank you for watching, and I pray this video has blessed you and encouraged you to pay attention to old tools being used in new ways. Have a great day, guys.